Welcome back guys. Today we're changing the steering wheel in my Land Rover Defender. It came with this Momo wheel. It's not that bad to be honest, but it's just not really my style. I don't think it suits the Defender that much really. It's got these kind of little chromey bits up here and I don't know, these bits. It's a little bit fast and furious really. It's a bit ricey for a Defender. So um, I'm going to change it. I've sourced another wheel. This one is a Momo and I'm getting another one for Momo. But I've gone for a more kind of traditional kind of heritage-y look. It's the uh, Prototipo. So I'll show you that in a minute, but it's all black. Now, this one has got the Optimil um, removable boss on it. But the issue is, once I took the little cover off here, um, the kind owner, previous owner, who's, I guess, tried to remove this in the past, has completely ruined the heads of these bolts. So I can't actually get it off. So I've had to buy this. It's called an easy off tool. Basically what it does, it lets you remove wrecked screws. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this in a minute, but you've got two heads to them. The top bit kind of um, chisels out all of the, the debris, all of the kind of ruined head. And then the bottom bit um, basically just helps you remove it. It pulls it out. So very simple, but very clever at the same time. Uh, I've never used one of these before, so I guess we're gonna see if it truly works. I'm hoping it does, because at the moment I can't change the steering wheel. It's just stuck on. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so these have been massively over tightened. I've just tried to remove them using standard correct size one and all it's done is absolutely mash up the rest of the holes there. So now it's time to use this. So first of all, you need to choose the one that fits in the hole best. See that one might be a little bit too small. It's probably a bit too big. So we'll start with this one, you notice you've got two heads as well. You start off with these, and then once you've kind of bored the hole out a little bit, you then use these ends. I'll show you, that's the, it zooms in, that's the end. The most important thing to do though is to make sure that your drill is set in reverse. It has to be in reverse for the entire procedure. That's when you're using this end and also this end. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and round inside. Well, that's not a good start. Cheap Chinese rubbish. This has snapped and it's stuck in the bolt. So let's tighten these bolts up. Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's actually broken this. Oh joy, nothing is easy with defenders. Right, so after snapping this little mini one, I've gone to the biggest one, and I've just started drilling this, and look at that, first one's come out. <laughs> Finally. So I think the trick is gonna be to start off with the kind of medium ones, and then if they're still being stubborn little so-and-sos, keep going up until we've got the, the big boy, and then let's see if we can get them all out. Let's go. Done. Ha <laughs> ha. So this is the leftovers of these bolts. Look at that. It's completely ruined, but at least we got them out. That's the main thing. Which means I can now change the steering wheel. Right, it's arrived from Momo. That's the fun bits on Christmas unboxing. Nice packaging. Comes with the bolts as well that I've wrecked <laughs> from this. That's good. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's nice. 
to that. In comparison, yeah, look at that. Really nice quality. Nice stitching too. Yeah, just, just a big improvement over that one, isn't it? Look at that, massive improvement. And it comes with a Momo horn button, obviously, but the only issue is when you've got an Optimil removable steering wheel boss, I don't think you can actually fit that because um, it needs that bit to go in the center there. With this one, obviously you had the bit that screws over the top, so you don't see the middle bit there. But with this, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use that or not. Not the other world, it's fine. So the next step is to reattach this part of the Optimil so I can start to use the removable element of the steering wheel again. Now I need to say a big thank you to Optimil because they actually sent me some replacement screws because as you just witnessed, getting the screws out of that was just living hell. Um, and I'm glad they did because I thought, ah, oh, these are in the box already for Momo. I didn't actually need them. But if you look, these ones are your standard attachments. And um, when I just try to put them in there, they're too long. So thank you Optimil for sending me the correct shorter, stubbier ones because that would have been another thing I need to sort out. I need to like run around and try and find a shop that's open that sell these little stubbier versions. So thank you Optimil for sending out them. So I'm going to do these up and it's important not to over torque them this time. I believe they need very low torque. Otherwise you're going to be doing what I was doing, which is just spending hours trying to drill them out. And there we go. I haven't tightened them massively yet because I just want to do a test fit. But the Optimal removable part is back on the new steering wheel. As I thought, you can't put the Momo horn button on there because the Optimal thing needs to stick through, which is a little bit of a shame because I love the look of the horn button there, but still looks epic compared to how it did so very happy overall and so there we go guys all fitted look at that last thing to do is just to retighten the bolts to make sure that they're the right torque settings so that the wheel doesn't pop off whilst you're driving along but other than that we are good to go and so for anyone wondering what the wheel is it's the momo prototipo if you're italian or prototipo if you're in england and just yeah the quality is beautiful really nice look at that the grain of the leather is nice quality of the metal here everything about it is just really really good quality as you'd expect with momo even the stitching is absolutely spot on beautiful wheel i think it makes a huge difference what do you think the last wheel was all right but it just didn't really suit the defender i think this is definitely more in keeping with the defender i like black everything anyway so you know i'm an easy customer really but yeah a big shout out to momo for helping me choose the replacement wheel and thank you as well to optimil who gave me the uh, little short and stubby bolts otherwise i'll be sitting here crying without a wheel my defender uh so yeah that's everything for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider subscribing give the video a thumbs up drop a comment and i'll see you soon